Oh my gosh, you felt Final Fantasy 4DS was simple? I am not worthy to be in your presence. That game was hard. Put to sleep. Ugh, oh, I'd never want to talk about Dragon Warrior 1 ever again. Can we just not do that? Whoop, not. I need smelling salts. Yeah, I was trying to earlier, Dragon Mist, but he was asleep. Wow, that sleep is annoying. <laughs> you liar. <laughs> I don't care that you're not joking. <laughs> or just just joking still. Ah. Should you buy a 3DS? Um, I should not be the judge of that decision. What if I don't want to call it the X-Bone? I mean, I'm not a fan of it either, but... Couldn't we come up with something catchier? How about the Xbox? Oh god, Microsoft, why are you doing this to yourselves? Yeah, <laughs> didn't even bother with the tentacles. Like somebody mentioned, um, Fire Emblem Awakening for the 3DS would be a good one. Monster Hunter 3 Ultimates on the 3DS. Like, there are a lot of good games on the 3DS. It has a much better library than the Wii U. Um, I personally have not picked up a 3DS yet. I will be doing so by October, I imagine, for Pokemon XY. Oh yeah, Devil Survivor is good. It's hard, but it is good. If you want a challenging strategy RPG along the lines of 
I want to say Final Fantasy Tactics, but Devil Survivor has more monster hunting. Well, that's the thing, Dragon Mist, about um, about Monster Hunter, is you don't have the same freedom of movement that you have in a lot of action games because every movement that you make, you've uh, yes, Borg. Um, every movement that you make, once you press that button, you're committed to that movement. You can't just get out of it if you know something goes poorly you have to be very strategic in um, monster hunter all you do is fight monsters um, I dare you <laughs> to name an RPG where the majority of the game is not spent fighting monsters <laughs> I mean, that's really all I've done tonight, is fight monsters. Like, there's some chatting going on, but... Yeah, Borg, it looks like I'm going to be doing these um, weekly now, every Thursday. I want to have a solid schedule of doing uh, this cast. So, yeah, you can expect me doing this every Thursday night at... 10 p.m. Eastern. Mm, for two hours, typically. Well, to be fair, there's not much going on with the story in Monster Hunter Plus Scepter! That's true, you are fighting other people in Fire Emblem. Borg, um, for giggles, go and see how much Panzer Dragoon Saga is going for on eBay before you get the idea of buying it. You're probably just going to be better off burning a disc. It went up again. Yeah, when I found my copy of Panzer Dragoon Saga, it was $80, and that was just the discs. I still don't have the case for it. It did not get a very large print run, and it's very sought after by uh, Saturn collectors. The only reason that I found it was because I've made friends with like every video game store owner in town so they all know me they have my phone number and when something crazy like that comes in they'll give me a call because they know that I'm willing to come pick it up like I left work early to go grab Panzer Dragoon Saga I was like <laughs> I got the phone call he's like hey I have a copy of Panzer Dragoon Saga I can sell it to you for $80 uh, like I just stared at my boss I'm like you have to let me leave right now <laughs> It's like, is it important? Yes! It's something stupid, isn't it? Yes! Alright, do you have the sick time? Yes! Go ahead.
Oh my gosh, I forgot to get Melanie's trunk earlier. Falcon Claws? Wait a minute. Hamtaro, you can equip those, can't you? Oh, yes. These are going to be amazing. Do the Falcon Claws cause me to hit twice? I actually have Last Story um, sitting right behind me. It is still unopened. Boo! Alright, thanks, Truth. One hit. That is stupid. Why name something Falcon if it's only going to hit once? Why am I in here? I need to go do the monster arena, I think. <laughs> What's up, TJ Hooker? <laughs> Thank you for that information that nobody here needed to know. <laughs> He might have meant both. I'm not sure. I don't want to ask, because I don't want to know. Oh, you beat DQ4? Isn't the final boss amazing? That final boss in Dragon Quest IV is so stressful because he's got like seven forms. By the time you finally kill him, like you have no items left. You're completely out of magic. What, seriously? I don't have to... Oh, okay, there we go. Rank C! Uh, no. Estark is in Dragon Quest IV. That's the first time he shows up, but he is not the final boss. Hardest final boss ever? No, I wouldn't say Zoma. I would say... Probably Malroth in Dragon Quest II. Because he had full heal. And if not him for stupid full heal reasons, then I would actually say the final boss of Dragon Quest IV is the hardest final boss I've ever fought in a Dragon Quest game. Oh, you guys are so dead. Alright, I'm gonna grab a drink. I'll be right back. What is Mortimer in? Is he 5 or 6? Because I haven't finished 5 yet and I've never played 6. And he doesn't sound like he's in 7. Six? Okay. Yeah, I know nothing of six. Get him, Hamtaro! Yes, you beast! I really need to finish five. I'm at the very end. Like, I have to travel to the underworld. Like the dwarf boss from Dragon Quest X. Oh! Oh! Okay, yeah, I already don't want to fight him if he's anything like the dwarf boss. That fight was terrible.
Well, I like Dragon Quest V for the story. I feel that it has a superior personal story to like 3 and 8, because you really care about the characters in 5. Um, and you feel a little bit detached from them in 3 and 8, because the story isn't quite as personal. Uh, at the same time, I feel 5 was lacking in the same polish that 3 and 8 had. It's very clearly um, the first Dragon Quest that they made for the Super Nintendo. They were still, you know, kind of getting used to the um, the architecture. That sounds like some bullshit truth. I don't think I want to play Dragon Quest VI now. <laughs> That sounds obnoxious as hell. Murder Machine Hamtaro is at work. I didn't spend too much time with the class system on 7. I usually get as far as the Dharma Temple, um, and then I wind up getting distracted horribly. Go for it, Sadie. You will not be disappointed. 4 and 5 are both great. I'm with you, Borg. I don't... Yeah, the Sword of Destruction does a hilarious amount of damage, but I just don't feel it's worth it. It's not reliable. Atlas is such a beast, but he doesn't bother me near as much as, um, what's the other one? Balzabub? Balzoth? Something. The bat guy. Who can cast Sacrifice. I hate Sacrifice. I hate Sacrifice so much. Okay, do I have do I have more? Yes, I have more to do. What would I do with two and a half years of no income? Uh, I would go live in the mountains. Without a doubt. I can't wait to go through Dragon Quest 8 again. I've only played it 
through once, but it is still my favorite out of the series. Floor was good. I can understand your opinion there, TJ. Yeah, when I play Dragon Quest VIII again, it's going to be Let's Played. I'm not going to stream it either. I'm going to keep it to a more traditional Let's Play format and just have like a really nice clean run of it. never would have considered Jessica on daggers. What's the, um, what's the bonus to having Jessica on daggers? Okay, I can see that being cool. When I went through it, I had um, the hero on spears, Yangus on axes, Jessica on whips, and Angelo on bows. Which was a pretty solid setup. You know, it gave me access to um, Hatchet Man and Thunder Thrust. Which one is thin air? I'm sorry, it's been a while. Based on your level for 2 MP, I can see that being pretty good. <laughs> That's not fair, Borg. Why would you bring that up? <laughs> oh, I get all twitchy whenever anybody mentions the first game now. And actually, during the stream, Truth, you remember how I said that if I get up to 10,000, subscribers, I would be willing to do another marathon. I will one-up doing Dragon Quest 1 again. I will do Dragon Quest 2 if I can get up to hell, 5,000 subscribers. If I get 5,000 subscribers, I will marathon Dragon Quest 2. I'm fairly certain will kill me. I like to imagine you're trying to figure out a way to make that happen. <laughs> can we keep going? We can do A now. Can we do the next area next, or do we have to do A? 
Oh, okay. Rank A. Yep. Cool. Twice? Oh my god. Why would you do that? Well, I I have offered up to do Dragon Quest one or Dragon Quest two now in a single run, and that includes Road. <laughs> I don't even know how I'd prepare for something like that. I don't even want to know what your times were like. My time must have been terrible. Later, Kitsune! What would I rather do? Play Battle Road Victory for two hours or stream Dragon Quest 1 again? Um, are we saying stream Dragon Quest 1 from start to finish again? Or just stream it at all? Full? Uh, I'd probably rather rather play Battle Road Victory for two hours. But I can do the GBA version. Well, in that case, I, I take the GB or the GB color version. Yeah, I'd go uh, beginning to end on the Game Boy Color because that's probably about half the time. So eight hours of Dragon Quest One on the Game Boy Color versus two hours of Battle Lord Victory. I would take the eight hours. That's what I liked about the Game Boy Color version, though. I didn't feel like I was worn out after the end of it. Like, after playing the Game Boy Color version, I can jump into another Dragon Quest game and feel fine. After finishing the 8-bit uh, one, uh, I want nothing to do with Dragon Quest for a while. Like, I didn't touch a video game for a couple of days after that, uh, after that stream. I haven't gotten up to, dra to Nocturnus in Dragon Quest IX, so I can't say. My Dragon Quest IX save file is a bit lacking. I think Baramos is the only legacy boss I've killed, actually. You stupid bastard. Ah, oh, good, it failed. Really? I thought you could get Nocturnus's map in 9 from another boss. <laughs> 